Initially, there have been seven modules introduced with the Alliance block. There will be more coming, and of course, just the skies being the limit. Uh, each of these products is good enough to be yet another small cryptocurrency with a token of its own. So I think it's very worth to briefly talk about some of these modules. Let's start with the trustless KYC and anti-money laundering identity verification module. You know that I have expressed my anti-KYC stance on a several occasions. I have deep distrust various centralized entities that are collecting my identity and or uh, spying on me. So I am actually very elated to see that there is a module on Alliance block that lets me to prove my identity in a trustless manner while I retain the control of my data. That's done through zero knowledge proof validation. Access to the data re registry is controlled via a, a role based access control mechanism that allows read only access to the users. So essentially the institutions or exchanges or in fact any entities like governments uh, will know whether you are eligible or not eligible to use their products without having your identity. I think that's genius. And there are even more benefits such as right to be forgotten or conservation of power consumption or even more benefits than that. Pretty excited about this module. Let's have a look at the next peer-to-peer -peer lending protocol module. Uh, allows people to collateralize real world assets. Even your old garage now can have a tokenized ownership. So yeah. Another module, DeFi Terminal, it's very interoperable, offers lending, swapping, liquidity mining, all in one interface, which is this beautifully looking here. So there's a less room for errors and capital loss. Even an AI is integrated to give users or like institutional users even advices on their portfolio management. So yet again, um, sounds pretty genius to me. Another module, Alliance Bridge. One bridge fits all. Let's users swap any token on any network that has been integrated into the protocol. It's open sourced and audited. Um, Alliance Block has partnered with uh, DAG, header hash graph, and they're using their consensus to optimize performance on Al of Alliance Bridge. There is an argument that Alliance Bridge is faster than the con than the competing other bridges. There are other there are many other bridges out there. There were three validators at first, but there was a planned extension to eleven validators at the end of 2021. However. I could not find any single information whether 11 validators are true today or not. Another module data tunnel, uh, it's a module described as an oracle of oracles. Alliance block partner with multiple oracles such as Chainlink, Parsec, Dia and others. It, it takes data from these oracles, enriches them and pushes it back to achieve a single source of truth. A data tunnel is a place where anyone can publish and monetize data as well. Um, there is a partnership with Ocean Protocol to allow DEX for data, the centralized exchange. All the fees are of course uh, paid in Alliance Block, or if you choose to use other currency, it's converted into Alliance Block automatically. The marketplace for data is a first of its kind. So the next time when you create a data that nobody has, just make sure you know there is a place to monetize it. By the way, I have not mentioned that all of these modules that we talked about, that all of them are fully compliant. 